So the lecture of today is about the Ito calculus. So this lecture is um, following the one about the uh, stochastic calculus. So let's start with uh, um, the notation and what we would like to do today. So suppose we fix any function f sufficiently um, differentiable on the domain omega. So this is really not very important, but to make sure that um, we have the correct object. So, and then we have a stochastic uh, equation, x dot equal b of x, which is a deterministic drift, plus sigma of x, which is the tensor, and multiplied by the noise, um, Brownian white noise. And the goal of this um, Ito uh, formula, so the goal today is to derive Ito's formula, is to get an expression for the df along the trajectory x of t. So this is a version of the infinitesimal um, derivative of s, but applied to a stochastic uh, process. So let me remind you that if we have x, which is simply a deterministic function, a dynamical system, b of x, then in that case, df of x is simply um, the derivative of s along the trajectory of uh, x of t, which is, so if we have frame x1, xn in dimension n, this is in omega in Rn, then um, what we get is simply df dxi at calculated at point x of t, xi of t, and we have to sum from i from 1 to n, and uh, we can uh, uh, um, so this is df, this is df dxi, multiply by um, the, um, yeah, xi of t. All right. So again, this is d. If we differentiate this quantity, this is d, dt of this, this is df dxi multiply by xi dot t. So this we are missing here, the dot. And this is the sum for i to n. So in general here what we get in this form we'll get um, dt multiply by this um, element. So now the question is what is the generalization of this? to a stochastic uh, process. So for this, what we are going to, uh, to do is to calculate, as we did in the calculus, um, stochastic calculus um, lecture, we are going to estimate f at x of ti plus 1 minus f of x ti where x now is solution of the stochastic equation star. So we assume that we go from 0 to, let's say, capital T. We have a partition of this uh, time interval, and we have two neighboring time, ti, ti plus 1. This is here, and this is there. And so we consider discretization of the process x at this time, and we would like to evaluate the difference f of x t x plus i minus f of x and t i. And so for this, we are going to introduce some notation, which is d of x i, which is going to be x of t i plus 1 minus x of t i which is simply equal to b of x of ti minus, uh, multiplied by delta t, plus sigma x 
of ti and this is d omega i where by definition d omega i is omega of ti plus 1 minus omega of ti so um, now we are ready to um, write to expand to estimate this term here okay so for this we are going to use a Taylor expansion to order 2 so let's write f of x of ti plus 1 minus f of x ti so this is by definition equal to um, the sum of f of df dxk at position xti so we use a Taylor expansion uh, formula multiply by d x i with I will use this notation so this is sum for um, k equals 1 to n plus we, non we need not to have the second order term which is one half of the second derivative ddf dxk dxq at position xi so again I will write xi equal x of t of i and then we have to uh, multiply by d um, xi coordinate k dxi coordinate q plus something that is of order dx squared okay so now what we need is to um, expand dxi which is b let's call it bi delta t plus sigma i um, and this is the k component here sigma i um, d omega and now if we want the k component we have to take the k component of this which is simply b i k delta t plus so here we have to uh, sum this is k let's call it k1 and this is d omega k1 i and this is sum over k so now we can replace this quantity into um, the Taylor formula so we'll get df dxk xi bik delta t plus df dxk at position xi sigma i k um, k1 so if we have here k this is a k1 here k k1 d omega uh, k1 and we have to sum here over um, both k and k1 and here we sum over k and now we have the uh, second order term to write which is one half of the sum so we have the second derivative in xk and xq and then we have so there are the, the two first term which is bk i and bq i and this is a term delta t squared which would we'll see um, uh, how it would be treated then we have the term which I think um, we are going to now put the most important term which is the second derivative dxq dxk dxq and now we have to use sigma k k1 sigma 
um, q q1 at i which means uh, at the point uh, so sigma i is meant sigma calculate at point x i and now we have to use the term d omega q1 d omega q2 and there's another term which is the mixed term which I'm not going to write because as we're going to see it will um, go as uh, um, n goes to infinity it will go to zero so mixed term so now what we are interested in is to study the limit of uh, this uh, quantity as n goes to infinity so let me remind you what is n we have a partition of the interval um, 0 t and delta t here is the difference t i plus 1 minus t i so it's an important really uh, that this um, um, partition is uh, uniformly distributed as long as uh, it goes to 0 so for example if it is uniform it is delta t or t divided by n and this goes to 0 as n goes to infinity so the question is what is the limit of uh, the different uh, um, terms that we have let's say for example the first term what is the limit of uh, this term so now there is an additional thing that we are going to do is to uh, sum this uh, quantity with respect to i that is we are going to take the sum from i going from 1 to um, capital N which is not here the dimension but the number of points so we have an additional sum that we are going to consider in all of this quantity from 1 to capital N so now let's study the first so we are going to call this 1 this is going to be the term number 2 and uh, this will be term number three and there is the term number four which is going to be um, this one and that one which is, are unimportant because as we are going to see they will uh, converge uh, to zero in probability so so let's now consider term number one so term number one i equals so this is the sum of um, from i to capital n of ddf dxk xi bik so there's a sum here of a k from one to the dimension multiplied by delta t so as capital N goes to um, goes to infinity, what is the limit of this quantity? So, this is as we have seen from uh, the previous uh, class about uh, lecture about the uh, stochastic calculus. This is the uh, Riemann sum for a classical uh, uh, integral. So as n goes to infinity, although xi here are a stochastic, um, is, a, is a stochastic variable, we have seen that this converges to the integral from 0 to capital T of the sum of df dxk of x of s. This is the entire trajectory and multiply by b k of x of, of uh, b i which is now b at position x and we have to integrate ds and this is k from 1 to um, to the dimension n so, so this can be shown this the same way as we have seen in the previous lecture when uh, we defined the um, non-anticipating function and we estimated integral of this function so 
similarly we have now the other term which is term number uh, 2 which was the sum from 1 to n of the first derivative df dx k x i multiplied by sigma k k1 d omega k1 s and now again uh, we have to use here the um, uh, um, calculus the the, integ the the integration over this uh, uh, Brownian um, element so as n goes to infinity so we have defined for the non-anticipating function the limit which is uh, what we're going to take here so this is the integral from 0 to t of the sum from k equals 1 to n ddf dxk for calculated along x of s multiplied by sigma k k1 of x of s um, d omega k s so this is not d this is delta here that we have to use so now this is uh, um, the sum uh, the, uh, the, the, the limit of the second term and again this can be uh, uh, shown uh, that this is the limit using uh, what we have done for the non-anticipating uh, function now the last term which is the most interesting one is uh, we are going to uh, use the calculation that we have uh, um, developed before to calculate uh, the term which was the integral which was integral of omega d omega and we are going I'm not going to repeat all the, the um, steps of the proof but we are going to use the same um, uh, the, the same methods so basically to estimate the limit of um, the, the, the third term which is the sum of one half of ddf dxk dxq calculated at position xi so this is the sum of i and the sum of a k and q and so we have to multiply by sigma k k1 i sigma k k2 uh, i so this is q here and this is d omega uh, k i or k1 d omega k2 i so um, the limit as we have uh, said uh, last time uh, for uh, the case of the integral of or the sum omega d omega was e the, e the expectation so this is exactly the limit we should find here and the expectation of these terms of um, the product of two Gaussian increments of uh, uh, k1 and k2 is uh, simply the expectation it is zero when k1 is different from uh, uh, k2 and for k1 equals k2 this is precisely the time increment um, ti plus one here minus uh, ti so I'm not going to uh, prove it this is again we'll have to use uh, the Chebyshev inequality the same the same steps as we have uh, used in the previous class and it can be shown that the limit is one half of the integral from 0 to t of the sum for k and q of ddf dxk dxq and this is at calculated along the trajectory x of s this is sigma at position x of s of k k1 this is sigma q let's call it k1 it has to be the same and then we have here the term delta at position here x of s and this is ds so this is as n goes to infinity so if we summarize now 
the three terms, which is the first one in here, the second one there, and the last one here, we have finally uh, estimated that uh, um, the sum, the um, so finally what we have uh, shown from uh, all of this is that the um, the uh, quantity f of x of capital T minus f of x of zero, which we have written the sum from or the limit. Okay, let's write it the sum of 1 to n of x of ti plus 1 minus f of x ti. So what we did is we took the limit as n goes to infinity. And now we found that this can be written as the sum of three terms from integration from uh, 0 to t of a first of a term which is 1 to n of ddf dxk x of s bk of x of s plus the sum of which can be written here in the form of sigma uh, sigma transpose sigma of x t divided by 2 and this is q k ddf dxk dxq at x of s so this every all of this term here is multiplied by ds plus we have a stochastic term which is the sum of ddf dxk calculated at x of s and then we have here um, sigma k and q and apply it to uh, the Gaussian vector qk of s and this is calculated at x of s and this is here the sum from k equals 1 to n and again this is uh, this is also this is also a sum in q I didn't write it I use the classical convention that um, okay so let me write it this is a sum here of a q so this is the um, the general Ito formula and uh, we can write by differentiating here with respect to t the infinitesimal form which is df of x of t this is the sum of 1 to n of ddf dxk of x of t bk of x of t plus one half of sigma transpose sigma k and q ddf so this is again this means the sum for k and q ddf dxk dxq calculated at x of t plus a stochastic term which is from 1 to n ddf dxk x of s sigma k q at position x of t and d omega q so I think um, this is the uh, Ito formula that we wanted to uh, show and discuss today and this um, formula has um, a lot of applications in um, and and in many applications that is very important so this is very important to understand how this formula is uh, calculated and uh, this is derived in the Ito sense it doesn't work of course for the Stratanovich um, calculus and I will finish with an exercise so use the Ito formula to calculate so this is the exercise calculate the expectation of the exponential of the Brownian motion what is it equal to so use the function f of t which is exponential t use the Ito formula to 
uh, calculate d of exponential of uh, wt so there is no uh, drift it's purely a uh, brownian sigma here equals one and so show that this is equal to one half of exponential wt dt this is a second derivative of an exponential which is the same multiplied by exponential of omega t d omega and then integrate this and use the expectation and find that uh, um, you, you, you can get uh, um, for uh, an equation actually for um, integral from 0 to t of exponential of omega s and ds so find that uh, this uh, we have the following expression of it exponential omega t minus 1 equals one half of this plus integration from 0 to t of omega s in the omega s and um, then use the expectation and finally um, write an equation for this uh, expectation and show that um, it satisfy um, a differential equation so basically uh, just take the expectation for all of this and what you should get is exp expectation of omega t minus 1 equals 1 half of the integral from 0 to t of expectation of, ex of exponential of omega of s ds and so now you have we have a uh, an integral equation to solve now uh, this is uh, classical and um, this is of the type uh, phi prime equals one half of phi with phi of zero equals to one so from this uh, it should be easy to see what uh, this uh, exponential equals to so I will stop here and um, offered some uh, references so you'll find in uh, shoes book 2009 a chapter about uh, the stochastic and, the, and the, the, the derivation of the entire ito formula uh, with the the details